Hey guys, this is your friend Iggy back again. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to build a PC inside of the Fractal Design Define S2 Vision RGB case. Come over here real quick and uh, let's get started.
All right, here she is, guys. Event Horizon complete. All the cabling has been set. Now, mind you, again, because of the way I had to do that 24 pin, as well as the PCIe cables and the two 8 pin piece, uh, CPU cables, I'm not 100% happy with it, but she doesn't look bad either. I was able to get the remote for the RGB right there. It is magnetic, so that kind of lends itself very well there. Now, it's not incredibly magnetic, but, you know, it's magnetic. So then around here along the back, we can see the cabling. So the five and a quarter drive bays, they help tons hiding cables. I have a little bit of a mess here and a little bit down here, but you can't see it, so it's good. You can see the cables I have coming out, and they're, again, hidden. I have a bundle of cable in here. Eh, that's okay. And then I have the RGB cable coming up here and then right in here, hidden up there as well. So this has been the first time that I've done RGB cables. So I found it kind of cool that the way that you would daisy chain each of those fan cables to each other. And then finally back here into that same cable that fed into that little remote you saw. And then again, we have the power for the fan headers or for the fan, should I say, right here, the three in the front and the one in the back. So that looks really nice. Um, and you saw me do this before. Now, one thing that I'm kind of embarrassed about, but whatever, I'll tell you guys. I had these fans blowing down instead of sucking hot air out. So I had to flip them around. Also, as per the instructions on the liquid cooling unit, the S36, it says when you have this kind of a, a setup, it's best to reverse the rear fan so that it blows air in. So I guess that's to help it cool. It's going to be getting air from the back and then up here, which is okay in my layout. The way I have this set up, I have it on top of a shelf like this, not like this. So it works very well. It's going to be sucking air in from the back. And well, not really from the back, but from the side. And then it's going to suck that cool air up here and then the cool air coming up here, it's gonna suck it up there, as well as regulate some airflow inside the case. Then again, you can see that remote right over here. Another thing that I didn't realize when I was doing it, the liquid cooling unit has some headers that you plug in each of these fans to, but there was also a spare one. I didn't realize where it went to. If you notice, that hub had four connections, so I plugged the power into that. Then I realized that one of these cables has this cable for the pump feeding through that cable. So that's where it's getting the power from, from that CPU fan header. So I, I was just confused as to where that power was coming from, but I got it. So again, this is the Event Horizon machine. You're going to see a lot more from me soon. So again, that was the hardware video, uh, building the machine and now cabling the machine and you're going to see a lot more from this soon. Iggy yeah. out. See you guys. Disclaimer, this product was provided to the author to do a review. All opinions are 100% authors and authors alone. For more information, visit bit.ly slash dbdisclose. To have your product or brand showcased on Dragon Blogger, visit bit.ly slash review my product. Thank you for watching.